Alright guys, here we are in my uh, bedroom. I got a couple of things laid out on the bed here. Kevin, you showed me all your books, so I wanted to show you a few of the ones that I had. Uh, I've used these at various different times. I don't really reference them much anymore. Um, this book here says A Modern Method for Guitar. This was the first guitar instruction book uh, I ever bought, basically because that was what my instructor had me working on. And it's basically a bunch of the, the boring stuff like you would see in a band class. Um, he had me learning notation right off the bat. This guy was a classic, uh, classically trained, I guess you could say, uh, guitar player. And not classically trained in the sense that he played classical music. Just, you know, he was from the old school and he, he had you learn things um, as if you were going to be <clears throat> reading sheet music. And I knew I was never going to be reading sheet music because I wasn't going to be in that kind of a band. So... I dropped uh, his ass pretty quick. Um, I don't have many of my guitar magazines that I used to have. Um, I've kept a few. I kept this one basically because uh, there's Dimebag Daryl um, and I think it had a, a... I only bought this magazine because it had an interview with him and this was after Pantera broke up and I think it talks about some of that stuff. I don't know if my camera will focus. Yeah, I won't focus on what songs are in there. But basically, it's, uh, I also got Holy Wars. Uh, Megadeth Holy Wars is <clears throat> transcribed in here, so that's probably why I bought it also. Um, uh, this book, Travis Picking, is some kind of finger picking uh, style that I probably, you know, sometimes I buy these books and I don't really get much out of them, but I'll flip them open to a, a lesson here or there every once in a while on a rainy day. I'm bored, I got nothing else I want to learn. I'll pick up a lesson, I'll see if I get anything out of it. Basically, my motto is, Kevin, if you pick this up and you're not getting something out of it within uh, 15 minutes, move on to the next thing. Don't throw it away, but just move on to the next thing. It's not what you need to be focusing on that day. And that's um, <clears throat> pretty much my philosophy on things, not just guitar playing. Um, basic guitar, I don't believe I ever really used this book. It does look like it has some pretty good stuff in here, but uh, I don't think I ever used it chord chemistry now if you can grow a beard like this fella I'm guessing you're going to be pretty much a badass um, I don't even think you have to unbutton your shirt if you got a beard like that so um, this was a pretty cool book he's got a lot of good information in here a lot of chord charts um, and a lot of information about how chords um, chord formulas and families I've read through some of this stuff until I start getting confused and then I put it down again it's like one of those things once I stop getting anything out of it I move on to the next thing here is another guitar magazine I held on to it was a southern rock issue um, and basically I think I kept it because it had some Almond Brothers in it um, Marshall Tucker Band uh, there's Sweet Home Alabama in there but I'm really not that interested in Sweet Home Alabama um, it's an easy song anyways this is a guitar chord book similar to yours that I've had forever um, here's some pages I printed off the internet but you know basically the same thing as yours it's got the uh, chords the little finger numbers in the little dots there now, my camera won't focus that close I've got the settings wrong or something anyway those are some of the books I have um, you also showed me your music collection I want to show you this you're not going to be able to see probably too well with the lighting in here but um, let me try and get right here let me stand up some more you can see the bottom shelf these are all records this is what's left in my record collection it's about got about 400 records so that's pretty impressive I mean I'm not beating your CD collection or nothing there's a dictionary down here but I guarantee you where that gap is right there there's records in the living room that go right there but uh Let's see what we got down here. Um, just pull one out real quick. So, Depp Leopard Pyromania. Uh, oh, look. This is the first record I ever bought and uh, went to go to my grandma's house for a sleepover. Let me try and pull this out. And I dropped it and cracked, cracked this record. I was so upset. Uh, it was going to be so cool go play uh, records with my cousins and stuff. Cracked it on the way to grandma's house. Sucks. My CD collection is right there. I do not have a lot of CDs. I do have a lot of tapes. Most of the uh, 
music I have is on tape and then when uh, everything went digital I just uh, downloaded things from Kazaa and Napster and all those places because I already owned everything and I wasn't about to go buy it on CD again so tough shit uh, music business I've already given you my money you're not getting it twice just because you've changed the format alright check you out later